there were people coming in and saying, oh, my friends are down at City Hall waiting in line to get married. And so we were doing a lot of quick wedding bouquets. And a couple days afterwards, I get a call from this woman in Minnesota, and she has had that accent that you know you kind of recognize from the movie Fargo. Or she was very sweet, and she said, I have a really strange request. We want to send flowers to a couple waiting in line at City Hall. I said, well, how am I going to know who they are? And she said, oh, it doesn't matter who they are. We just want someone at City Hall waiting in line who doesn't have flowers to have flowers. We want to show our love and support by the way of giving them a bridal bouquet. Or her mother, who telephoned me afterwards, an 87-year-old woman, who you know these people are on fixed incomes, but they're taking some of their, their money and putting enough value and uh, love into sending flowers to people they don't know. We thought it was one of the right things to do is to offer, we do a lot of wedding cakes, and we thought, wouldn't it be nice to call some attention to, the, to what was going on and do some same-sex cakes? And we bought some little special cake toppers that were really cute and uh, put them in the window. I, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I, I didn't know who was going to be there and, and, you know, what even people were going to be dressed like when, you know? <laughs> and uh, what really just struck me was just the happiness there. I mean, I haven't been around that kind of joy, I don't think, ever in my life. I mean, it's not just, and it's a historical moment, so it's not just like, yay, we get to finally get married, but it's also like, this is history, life is changing, the way we look at things is changing. So there's all of this, you know, happiness, joy, adrenaline, I mean, it's amazing, it really is. After I'd handed off a few bouquets, I saw these two guys that in suits, and uh, the fellow that was going to marry them said, these fellows here need a witness, would you mind? And I said, no, I'd be thrilled. And these guys are from Oklahoma City. One of them had taken his partner's last name, officially, and I got to witness him saying their vows, overlooking the staircase at City Hall. All, these, all this time that I've been bringing flowers, I haven't been able to be a witness. It was great. Um, they were so sweet. You could just see the love in their eyes.